Okay, results of initial testing just with a factory antenna involved. Uh, yeah, this is a line of sight radio. So if you have a better antenna, if you use one of these things and you, you measure your wires out and you, you set those up for the channel you're going to broadcast on at a fixed location, you're going to get better performance over distance. In a mobile uh, situation, the signal quality is going to vary a lot depending on antenna placement in the vehicle. And the uh, proximity and construction of vehicles that are around it that would be receiving the signal. For example, a large truck traveling at the same speed as the broadcast vehicle, a large truck full of cargo is probably going to block that antenna. That's going to block that signal. If you are broadcasting to a convoy or a group of vehicles traveling in the same direction and lose audio and lose sight, you're probably going to lose sight along with losing audio. That's, that's what I'm finding on this type of stuff. If you lose sight of the vehicle, you're probably also losing audio. If you're traveling in the dark with night vision equipment or stuff like that, you can use that as a signal for those who don't have night vision equipment. Let's say they're just following the blackout lights or, or they're driving blackout or something like that. They would know that they are in proximity to the other vehicles uh, if they're still getting the audio signal. If they're not getting the audio signal, then you turn on your two-way radios, you'll have to broadcast or, or turn on your lights and find your way back. Um, and that's all low-speed stuff, okay? That's all away uh, let's say you've got people traveling at night in the dark just by moonlight with ATVs and you want to confirm that you're still within broadcast of the transmitter you could do this same with boats uh, that's that's where I think this thing's really going to do a lot for those groups and those people that are boat <coughs> boat transmit mobile uh, groups of boats flotillas that sort of a thing this is going to work pretty well for that. As far as broadcasting entertainment grade audio, uh, that's not so great. You get a song through this. Uh, you get a. You get a. Uh, uh, you'll be able to identify the song. You'll be able to identify the artist. That sort of a thing. You're probably not going to say that. Oh yeah, this is just as good as is playing a music file or a CD through your onboard uh, stereo system. It's not as good as a commercial FM broadcast station, even if you're right on top of this thing. It's, it's not as good. It's not as good as hardwiring your house for the stereo or speaker system. I, I definitely not as good as hardwiring your house for that stuff. And... There probably is some higher quality equipment for that out there. This is definitely not that. As far as mixing different audio sources, that seems to be working well. The idea of turning one up, others down, uh, different microphones, different, different audio sources. Uh, the splitter works, but realize it's a very simple mixing board. It's just a two-element mixing board but it works exactly the way it should. So if somebody has their hands on a radio, they can control that, they can. Just realize it with uh, the antenna attached to the back, the power attached to the back, you, you can't just mount your controls remotely from a lot of this stuff without running this off of a cable and the antenna elsewhere, then the antenna is going to need its own mount. If you use one of these little things for engineering your own improvised FM broadcast antenna, uh, there are people offering uh, uh, instruction stuff on that. I may do it. That's mainly going to be something that is done in in-person classes for vetted people that, that want to take classes on this or go to the round-robin thing at the, uh, the training seminars. And, and at the very least, you would be able to see some show-and-tell on that and, and figure out where to go from there.